Maccabeam Rishon, one Maccabees, 16. Then came up Yahuchanan from Gazam and told Shimon his father what Sinadabias had done. Wherefore Shimon called his two eldest sons, Yahuda and Yahuchanan, and said unto them, I and my brethren and my father's house have ever from my youth unto this day fought against the enemies of Yahshadael. And things have prospered so well in our hands that we have delivered Yahshadael oftentimes. But now I am old, and ye, my brother, by Elohim's mercy, are of a sufficient age. Be ye instead of my rather of me and my brother, and go and fight for our nation. And the help from heaven be with you. So he chose out of the country twenty thousand men of war with horsemen who went out against Senabias, rather, Chendebias, and rested that night at Modin. And when, as they rose in the morning and went into the plain, behold, a mighty great host, both of footmen and horsemen, came against them, howbeit there was a water brook betwixt them. So he and his people pitched over against them, and when he saw that the people were afraid to go over the water brook, he went first over himself, and then the men seeing him passed through after him. That done, he divided his men and set the horsemen in the midst of the footmen, for the enemy's horsemen were very many. Then sounded they with the holy shofars, whereupon Senadibius and his host were put to flight, so that many of them were slain, and the remnant got them to the stronghold. At that time was Yahuda, Yahuchanan's brother, wounded, but Yahuchanan still followed after them, until he came to Kidron, which Chandebias had built. So they fled even unto the towers in the fields of Ashdod, wherefore he burned it with fire, so that there were slain of them about two thousand men. Afterward he returned into the land of Yahuda in peace. Moreover, in the plain of Yericho was Ptolemy, the son of Abubus, made captain, and he had abundance of silver and gold. For he was the high priest's son-in-law. Wherefore his heart being lifted up, he thought to get the country to himself, and thereupon consulted deceitfully against Shimon and his sons to destroy them. Now Shimon was visiting the cities that were in the country and taking care for the good ordering of them, at which time he came down himself to Yericho with his sons, Matityahu and Yahuda, in the hundred threescore and seventh year, in the eleventh month called Shabbat, where the son of Abubus receiving them deceitfully into a little hold called Doch, which he had built, made them a great banquet, albeit he had hid men there. So when Shimon and his sons had drunk largely, Ptolemy and his men rose up and took their weapons and came upon Shimon into the banqueting place and slew them and his two sons and certain of his servants in which doing he committed a great treachery and recompensed evil for good. Then Ptolemy wrote these things and sent to the king that he should send him a host to aid him, and he would deliver him the country and cities. He sent others also to Gazam to kill Yahuchanan, and unto the tribunes he sent Sepharim to come unto him, that he might give them silver and gold and rewards. And others he sent to take Yerushalayim and the mountain of the temple. Now one had run afore to Gazam and told Yahuchanan that his father and brethren were slain, and uttered he, Ptolemy has sent to slay you also. Hereof when he heard, he was sore astonished. So he laid hands on them that were come to destroy him and slew them, for he knew that they sought to kill him.
as concerning the rest of the acts of Yahu Hanan and his wars and worthy deeds which he did and the building of the walls which he made and his doings, behold, these are written in the chronicles of his priesthood from the time he was made high priest after his father.